well, we're at the first craft fair. We're getting everything all set up, and it's a nightmare already, and we've just begun. So, yeah, so here we go. Starting to get set up. And then we've got to rush to back to Nanaimo and get George set up. And then we got a craft fair from 6 to 9 tonight. Oh, what a nightmare. Hopefully we'll get through this. Well, we're on our way to the second place to set up. <laughs> How are we feeling? <laughs> ready to craft. <laughs> He's ready to craft. Feeling I'm crafty. St I'm stressed. Um, having panic attacks and stuff. I don't know why. It's weird. I don't know. But anyway... Yes, yeah, so now we've got to go rush over to the next place and set up and we're doing the craft fair from 6 till 9 and then tomorrow morning I go that way and he goes that way <laughs> and we divide and conquer. <laughs> so Total crafting domination on our little island. Yeah, I don't know. So anyways, um, yeah, so I guess I'll try and... And I forgot my camera, so I'm trying to videotape on my phone. So, <laughs> yay. Yay me. Um, so, and, and we went home briefly to pee the dogs and everything. Found dog crap all over the carpet. Somebody had explosive diarrhea. We can't deal with it right now. I just cleaned up as much as I could, and then boom, we were gone again. It's like, oh my God. Hopefully we can find a carpetologist that'll be able to deal with that. <laughs> Thing. This will be a tail from the carpet trail. I keep looking over trail. here and it's like the camera's over here. It'll be a tail from the carpet trail. Yeah, there you go. Right now there's a trail all over my carpet. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I'll try and get some footage of uh, both fairs uh, and hopefully let's see if it, if it all works out. So, okay. See you in a bit. Good morning, Yarnabees. Well, I'm all set up and I'm ready to go. I've got my Christmas hat on that I made. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so let me show you what's going on. Okay, so here's one half of my display. Got all of my Bag O'Day cowl sets. I've got all of my beanies. Got all of my slouchies. I've got my check us out on YouTube. <laughs> and then I've got my trusty mannequin with my cowl. And then over here I have my chronically crocheting um, ribbon scarves here. I've got some um, Leg warmers, these are on my Etsy page. Uh, I've got some ponytail um, headbands. I've got some cat toys. I've got my new mannequin sitting here. I have my soap scrubbies with the bar of soap inside. I have my Lydia book set up. I've got my other cowls. And then these are crocheted um, bracelets that my niece made. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Oops, not going to focus. Anyway, why isn't it focusing today? Oop, come on. Focus. No. Okay. Anyways, you can see them here. She did a great job on them. So yeah, so this is my setup guys, and uh, we are ready to rock and roll. George is at the other location, and uh, oops, and yeah, so don't, oh, don't look back here, it's like a mess. <laughs> I got my Tim Hortons coffee going on, so yeah. The next day. 
<laughs> Good morning, Good morning. Yarnabees. It is Sunday. We are at the Cowichan Exhibition still and we are hoping for a really good day. It's sunny out. It not wasn't like yesterday. It was I'm all cockeyed again. What the hell? <laughs> there you go. Keep so, looking. Keep looking. Yep. Go. So, um, yeah. So it's been really good so far. George did really well yesterday. I did really well yesterday as well. He beat me. I beat him. <laughs> Girls rule. So, um, yeah. So I'll try and see if I can't get some footage today of some stuff. And we will see how it goes. Yarnabees! Oh, it is Monday. I think it's the 25th of, Nova, no, da, 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 of November. <laughs> um, whew, it was a brutal weekend. It was fun. It was brutal on my body, but it was really good. Sorry about the lighting in here. I'm doing this at night. Uh, so <clears throat> the, um, the two craft fairs we did were great. They were really good and, uh, <clears throat> I'm just glad they're over. So there's that. Oh, <laughs> see my shirt. Can you read that? It says pumpkin spice is my favorite season. <laughs> I thought that was pretty perfect for me. Did I show you this already? I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't even know where to start. I've got a few things to show you. Uh, <clears throat> there was oh, a whole bunch of crocheters at this at these craft fairs. It was nuts. Um, but I think we did the best out of all of them we had we like to kind of talk to each other and see how everybody's doing and I think we didn't do too bad so that was good the biggest sellers were my soap scrubbies um, and my bag of day cowls they went crazy over them I have maybe one left so I may not have any for the craft fair next weekend. Um, I gotta try and get one or two done. But yeah, they just went like hotcakes. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> this was our test run for them. And they did really well. Really well. So uh, I was really glad. I was really happy about that. Um, I, I did meet a guy Oh, his story was unbelievable. Unbelievable. He was an alcoholic. He lived on the street. He was in a really, really bad way. Um, I don't know how long ago, maybe, maybe a year ago, um, this was all happening in his life. And he, he was in really bad place. He handed it up to the universe and said, there must be something better out there for me. And he went on the search and he pulled himself out of the gutter and um, he taught himself to crochet. And I'll tell you something, he's, he's doing well. Um, he designed his own hat. He, he doesn't crochet crochet like we do. He does loom knitting. Uh, but he wants to learn how to crochet. But he does the loom knitting. And the hat he designed, I have one here, was fantastic. Fantastic. Um, his company is called Tuk, Tukin Up. Took N up. Um, his name is Angelo, and he. Oh, I just I I just can't even believe. It. Of course, I had to grab a purple one. It looks blue in the um, 
in the camera, but it's not. So this is his hat. And to me, it looks like um, kind of a, a Robin Hood kind of hat, but he has it all gathered in the back. And I don't know how he did it. You know, I was looking at this and I was going, holy Hannah. Like, I don't know if he gathered this while it was still on the loop. And then, yeah, he did. He did this, this gathering kind of, I, I don't even know. I'm not a loom knitter, so. Yeah, wow. But he, he did the gathering. And, um. It's the cutest hat ever. I've got a thing on, so I don't know if it's going <sighs> to... Look at this. Isn't this cute? I just, I, I fell in love with these hats, right? Like, oh, I don't know if it, I don't know if you can actually see if, if the camera's doing this hat justice, but it's so warm and so thick and it's comfortable it is so comfortable it's an amazing design and it almost looks like it has its own brim right it's like it's the coolest thing ever so I told him that I was going to shout him out on YouTube um, like I said he's he's just he has himself a little room like an apartment I think he's sharing with someone, but he's getting himself back on track and these hats are how he's going to do it. So, um, I'm, I'm hoping that he's going to be able to, he wants to teach. He's actually going to do, I forget if it was at a school or somewhere, but he has found a place where he's going to teach people how to do these hats. And I thought that's amazing. You know, like he wants to give back and he's, uh, he's just such a, a sweetheart. And, uh, we had talked about him doing an appearance on Crochet A Canada and, uh, at a later date. And I thought that would be really cool. Right. So, yeah. So I was so happy for him. Um, he, he was selling these for like $40 or $45 or something. Um, I really wish you could see the color properly. It really looks blue, but it's it's purple. But uh, oh, I just I just love this hat. So it's going to be a Christmas gift. So what we did was it was the funniest thing. I was gonna buy one, and he says no no I want to trade because I love your stuff. He bought two of my hats for the same price of his. Right? I was like what? Yeah okay <laughs> I felt guilty <laughs> but he the way he loom knits he's like fast fast just all the way around I couldn't believe it I whoa I, I was blown away so yeah so I mean that was pretty cool pretty cool so anyways um yeah so I hope he does really well with that um, another thing I bought, and because my sister doesn't watch my channel, I can show these. I have never heard of these before. There was a quilter there, and she makes something called a mug rug. And it's something that you put down on your desk, beside when you're on the computer or whatever, and you can put your coffee or your tea or whatever on it, or a cookie or whatever you've got going on. I'm telling you, these are way too pretty to be putting anything like that on. I swear to God. Look at, oops, here, I'll take this off. Um, I, I just, I looked at her and I says, are you kidding me? She says, well, if you want to, you can put them in a frame or something, but <laughs> that's not what they were intended for. And I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. And she's only selling them for six dollars. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And if you can't tell, it's a cat. Like, oh, so pretty. 
and so stinking cute. So I got that one and I got oops this one. Oop. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and the backs of them are so colorful too. Right? It's like Oh, I just I could not believe that these were for putting your mug on. I I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put them in a frame. <laughs> but I bought these for my sister because my sister's a cat lover and uh and she loves her tea. So, but I just I could not get over how beautiful these were. So, I'm I think what she did was I, I guess this was a fabric. Sorry, George's phone is ringing. Um, this was a fabric that she got, and then she just outlined oh, it. Oh, maybe not. Um, oh, I don't know. I can't tell. It almost looks like two pieces put together. Oh, I think it is. It's the cat is a separate piece and she stitched all the way around it and put it on here. Um, yeah, she did because you can see the outline here. Um, but oh, it's just absolutely stunning. I just, I had to get them. And the little tag says, bigger than a coaster, but smaller than a placemat. I'm the perfect size for snack time. I'll keep your surface free of cup rings and crumbs. Use me to hold your coffee or tea with a snack on the side. To keep me clean, just toss me in the washer with cold water and dry on low. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna hold this thought because George is like, <laughs> and I can't, you probably can't hear me. So, I'll be right back. Whoa, just about knocked over the camera. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So yeah, so I thought those were so pretty and I just, I had to get them. So anyway, moving on. Um, a customer asked me for a, um, asked me to do, what's the word? <laughs> I keep saying consignment, that's wrong. <laughs> anyway, she asked me to do her, uh, pr uh, Oh, think, 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 think. She wants me to design something. <laughs> anyway, it's the Scooty, but she wants it longer here so that it kind of comes down instead of staying right at the neck, like the Scooty does. She wants it to kind of come down here. I haven't done that before. So I'm working on it. <laughs> um, she wanted it in ocean colors. So I'm doing it in kind of greens and blues. And it's the Karen Latte. Whoop, and it's velvet teal. Okay, latte cake. <clears throat> so that's the color. That's pretty close to the color. So I'm just adding more to the cowl so it kind of comes out a little bit. So I'm hoping, I, I had to frog this like four times last night. I was so frustrated, but I think I got it now. So I'm, hopefully I'm gonna get that done because <clears throat> I think she might be coming to the next craft fair to come pick it up. Yay me. <laughs> so I better figure it out soon. Um, also today I got the Simply Crochet magazine in the mail and it came with a calendar. <laughs> oh, okay. So the first thing I saw in this calendar, I went, 
what? Tell me what's wrong with this picture. Can you see that? Oh, there. Can you see what's wrong with this? Let's see if I can get up close now. Do you see this? What the hell? Does that not look like condoms to you? <laughs> I was like, those don't look like little ghosts to me. Those look like condoms. And this calendar was created by Vanessa Moonsey. And uh, I think it's to promote the moon in yarn. Or, um, but it says, uh, a year of moon in magic. It says, we are talking, uh, taking you on a magical journey to the world of mooning, mooning the mooning valley. Uh, with the help of our talented designer, uh, Vanessa Moonsey, uh, we are we have recreated the best loved characters from Finnish illustrator Tove uh, Jen Jensen Jensen's uh, classic books, from the mooning troll himself to the glamorous snork maiden, mooning. Papa, Mooning Mama, uh, Snufkin, uh, Little Mai, and even the mysterious Hat Hattie Fatner, Hattie Fatners. Yeah, Hattie Fatners. That's what these things are called, Hattie Fatners. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if you can see this. You see that? Hattie Fatners. <sighs> I, I laughed so hard, I damn near peed my pants. I just, I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I'm texting all my yarny friends <laughs> and sending pictures of this. I thought it was hilarious. Um, yeah, I, I just can't. I, I can't. I just, oh, man. And they're talking about YouTube. You know, being... Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Moving on. <laughs> um, at the craft fair at the, the one craft fair that George was at, I found a lady that she was beside us. She was selling um, photography, but she also had something that I just went, I have to have it, and George bought it for me for Christmas. Yes, we're kind of buying Christmas presents early, and I'm picking my own Christmas presents, so whatever. This is called, oop, this is called Tazzy Totes, and it's Go Eco Stay Chic. Okay, so it's a bag. It's a it's a big bag, and it's got handles. Right, it's like it's a big grocery bag. What's special about this bag is these handles. They're hard plastic. These hand oops can't see you. These handles clip on to your shopping cart so that the bag stays open and it clips on. And then you just put your groceries inside. Plus, there's a zipper pouch that's thermal. Now, if you can see this in here. Oops. Open this up. And it's a thermal pouch for all your cold stuff. On the other side, it's a wine pouch. You can put your wine bottles in there. 
obviously this was made for the US because we don't sell alcohol in our grocery stores. Just saying. That sucks. <laughs> but yeah, so you can put your wine bottles in there, right? And it, it's just, I just thought it was great because then you just put your groceries in here when they're in the cart instead of having to pull them all out of the cart and then put them in a bag that you're going to end up throwing into a landfill. And then you just, when they scan it, they just put it back in your bag and away you go, right? I thought it was brilliant. I love the fact that it actually clips on to your cart. So I'm going to have to try that out. Um, yeah, so I got that and I got my things for my sister. I got, oh, I got a another bag from another quilter for my brother-in-law actually I'll show you I forgot to bring it over here <laughs> okay I'm stuck <laughs> it's a Harley Davidson and on the back it says screw it let's ride so it's very it's really well made and the inside it's got flames um, it's so pretty it's like it's thick it's really nice so I thought my brother-in-law is a Harley Davidson freak you know so I got that for him uh, and then I got a, a little it's like a strip of fabric that she had left over from a project she, she made into um, bookmarks so I got one of those for my daughter and oh there's lots of things there. It was really cool. Oh, the fudge. <gasps> wow. Oh, big, thick pieces of fudge. They were a bit pricey, but wow. The flavors that they had was amazing. I got a root beer. Yeah, root beer. And it tastes just like root beer. It's fantastic. So, anyway. Um, I went to the mailbox today. I sent off my packages and my Christmas cards. I have a couple more Christmas cards that I am needing uh, to do, but I don't have addresses. So, um, <sighs> Veronica from Vero's Crochet, I need your address, honey. So if you can email me, please do. And Crystal, uh, um, <coughs> Ricola, AKA Crystal, I need your, um, your address as well, sweetie. And Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits, I need your address as well. So if you guys can please email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and send me your address, that would be wonderful. Uh, cause I just, I want to get these Christmas cards done before, um, before I have my surgery and and whatnot, so um, and I finished all of my little angels. I don't know. If, oh, let me go again. Oh my! Oh, this lighting's terrible. My little angels. So, um, so I sent those out and what else I probably think I have something else to talk about and I can't remember <sighs> I don't know I'm really tired I'm I'm just the uh, oh I wanted to show you I think it was was it this one um I just opened this Simply Crochet book and look what's, look what's looking at me. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, the, uh, the two magazines I got had some really cute patterns in them. Uh, like this. I, as soon as I saw this, I thought of Seta from Seta's Place. Oh, can you see that? 
Isn't that pretty? Totally beautiful. It's actually on the cover. So pretty. It's called Midnight Glamour. Um, oh, here's the, it's called Curly Girl. Isn't she cute? Little llama. <laughs> oh, speaking of llama, um, I, I'm sending out Darlene's llama pants tomorrow. Um, but my other winner has not contacted me yet. Uh, she hasn't contacted me yet. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to give it till the end of the weekend. And if she hasn't contacted me by mon next Monday, then I'm going to have to redraw. So, um, yeah. If you happen to know her, get a hold of her. Let her know that I'm trying to contact her or trying to find her. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. I think that's all I have. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you're doing any craft fairs, let me know. Let me know how you're doing. Okay, and uh, stay safe. And yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Oh, don't do that. Ooh, yeah, bye. <laughs>